there we go. Is that the fish? That's a red fish. Yeah, that's a healthy fish right there. That's red, that's red, that's red right there. I knew putting one out there would be a good idea. There we go. Kicking. See you, dude. What's going on, everyone? So in today's video, it is actually made up of two separate days. The vast majority of the video will be from today's footage. And then I have a little bonus footage that I want to throw in at the end of a solid fish that I got the other day. So when I woke up this morning, I didn't really know what I wanted to do. I knew I had a high tide to start out and I was going to go ahead and throw a cast out a couple times, see if I could get either some greenbacks or some pinfish. And I ended up getting some good pinfish. So I went up to some mangroves and tried fishing along the mangroves at the high part of tide but I actually found a school of redfish out on the flat just off the mangroves. And then the second part of the video is some footage from last week where I went out on a solo mission just for like an hour. I ended up getting one really solid fish, so make sure you stay tuned for that. But enough talking, let's get into today's video. I think these storms are rolling in. Right there, that is a threadfin herring. It's a pretty good size one. We could use it as live bait, cut bait, a lot of different options, so I'm excited about that. Maybe throw one more time and then we'll go see if we can get some big fish. Deep flashes. Got some pins. All right, just threw the cast net a couple times. Got a couple good sized pin fish, uh, good cut bait size, maybe even like two pieces of cut bait like some big old pins. And I also got about six or seven good sized thread fin. I'm debating what to do right now, it's a pretty high tide, but it's going out really fast. And like everything in my body telling me to go throw a cut bait, highest part of the tide up in the mangroves, and then go try and throw the live bait. But I also really want to see if I can get some like good snow kind of live bait up by the mangroves. Let's go see if we can get some big redfish first. And then when the tide gets out a little bit more, maybe fish around some docks and other sorts of structure and see if we can get some, uh, Big old snook on these uh, bigger sized redfin that I got. But as of right now, next step is going to get some uh, redfish on cup bait. Here we go, just rigged up. And guys, I am not gonna lie to you, when I was first pulling up, out here on the flat in front of this <laughs> kind of iconic uh, redfish hole that I have, out here on this flat, there was a school of about 40 overslot redfish that just slowly cruised right by the boat. And I swear they just went into the mangrove. So I am very excited. I was throwing my top water at them, but they didn't want to hit that in the middle of the afternoon. So let's see if they actually went in the mangroves and if they're wanting to eat some cut bait. If you guys don't have a pair of these bait scissors or any brand of bait scissors, really, I highly recommend it when you're going to use cut bait. It just makes life so much easier than using a knife on a cutting board or on the boat or anything. I highly recommend it. I'll have a link down in the description if you want to pick them up. Not sponsored or anything, just my little like two cents. Here we go, got a piece of cut pin fish right here. Cut the, the fins off, all the spiky parts of the, the bait. And I was able to get two baits out of this one pin fish, so that's nice. Got a 2-0 circle look, a little split shot above just to make sure it stays right there in the this hole right here I'm gonna be aiming for. I'm also gonna keep an eye out for that school of redfish that was swimming around. Tighten my drag down. All those fish were over slot too, so that's exciting. I'm going to aim right here into the this hole in the mangroves. I got 25 pound leader on. There we go. Got a tight drag. Now we wait. You might feel some pinfish pecking at it, but you'll know when a redfish hits it because it'll either pull it in toward the mangroves and your line will tighten up real quick or it will eat it and come out and your line will just go really slack. Pinfish will just kind of be sitting there pecking at it. I have my drag. My die will proceed on 4,000, pretty much locked down. You want something with decent amount of drag and a rod with some backbone. This is my St. Croix Mojo Inshore uh, 7.6 medium power rod. You want something that in case you hook some of these bigger redfish that they don't get you in the roots of the mangroves right away. There's one, there's one, there's one. He's not that big. Hey dude. Probably a little like 18, 19 incher. First fish of the day though. Didn't take long once I casted that one in there. Come on over here. Yeah, this super tight drag, I just worked him out of there. I wanna get some of these over slots that I've seen swimming around. Hey dude. First fish of the day. 
on the cut pinfish. So, little, little redfish right there. Beautiful. Hook on them around the corner of the mouth, and I kept my bait. Just pulled them out of that hole in the mangroves right there. It's a very effective technique here. What's still warm here all through September here in the Tampa Bay area. A very efficient technique to try and catch them redfish. Get a release on this guy. See you, dude. Might cast a cut bait out on the flat behind me. That's where all the, or the big school was when I was first pulling up. Wouldn't hurt. I'm gonna go ahead and rig up the other rod and just cast it behind. Might as well. No, there was redfish around. Got a piece of cut bait on this rod. It's gonna cast it out. Let's sit in a rod holder over there. See if that school of redfish comes back around. Have it tight enough where it'll set itself. Put it in this back rod holder. So let's sit out there. Could get stingrays, bonnet heads, little black tips, maybe some catfish out there. But after seeing that school, there is a possibility we could get a good redfish too. So while that one's sitting out there, it's gonna keep casting into this hole. Dude, that's gotta be redfish over there. Those pushes are insane. Oh, I'm on. Yep. I'm on. There we go. This is a good one. Yep, that was a school of redfish. Called it. I knew putting one out there would be a good idea. There he goes. This is a good one. Come on. Put it out there on the, the flat. That's a good redfish. The school came back. That's so sick. I saw the rod start slowly going. Come on over here. This is a good one. I see the school pushing a little further that way. This is so sick. This had a feeling. Mike, let's get one back out on the flat where I saw the school. How big are you? It's a good one for sure. Come on. It's gotta be that same school I saw. Oh yeah, that's a solid one. Don't know if he's quite over slot, but I'll take it for sure today. Come on over here. Come on. Got him around the corner of the mouth. Beautiful redfish out here on the flat. That is sick. Get this hook out of them. Here we go. Popped right out. I'm going, he was probably right at 28. That's my guess. Look at the school. That's a school of redfish right there. That push right along the mangroves. I gotta get another bait over there. Sniped it. He was right at 28 inches. That is a beautiful redfish on the cup bait. But there's obviously a school that keeps going up and down this mangrove shoreline. So I'm gonna get another bait out. See if we can get a big one, because I swear I saw some that were pushing in the 30s before. Look at that. That's all. I'm pointing with the redfish's tail. Right out there, that's all redfish. That's sick. Let's get a release on him. There you go. See you, dude. That is beautiful. They're coming. They're coming right now. GoPro dive, but I got that rod back out with half a thread fin. See if I can get that school, and I'm going to keep casting in here for a little bit. Might end up just going after that school and really see if I can maybe even like double up or something solo. That'd be pretty cool. I'm scared to chase them. I don't want to spook them because when I first pulled up, I spooked them. And I don't know if they'll just keep going up and down this mangrove shoreline as the tide's going up. Because right now they're on the other point over there. You can see they're 
like aggressive wakes going every once in a while. I don't know whether I should pick up and kind of position on that other point or just kind of wait and see if they come back over here and keep that bait waiting out there for them. Oh, that's reds. That's reds. That's reds right there. That's a school of reds right there. They're going toward my bait. They were right here. I am not moving. It's not very often, at least for me, that I find a school of redfish like this. It's exciting. I like it. Enough of this hole over here. I'm going to try and get this bait over there, too. Oh, this one's on. This one's on. This one's on. Yep. Some just ate this one. Oh, it's a little guy. Just a small little redfish, I think. Yep, little guy. But you can see the school out there. Come on over here. It was as soon as I walked back here, I was like, oh wait, I'm on. Another like 18 probably. It's got some cool spots on them though. Here, I'm going to cast this one out. right in the bottom jaw right in the middle this was on the half a dead thread fin it's got two big spots on that side one on that side cool fish right there get a release on him i think the school of redfish is right here oh yeah they're right over there they're coming they're co look at all those fish i'm freaking out right now this is so cool Got two baits out. Just gotta be quiet and patient. There they are. They're right out there. Kind of by this other bait. That's a yep. That one's on. Yep. That one's on. As soon as I saw those fish going toward it, I'm like, they're going right by this bait. That was so cool. This guy's taking some line. Okay. I knew it. I was like, I saw the school getting closer. I'm like, he's going right by that other further out bait. Gotta make sure he doesn't get in my other line over here. He might. Yeah, I think he is in the line. That's a good one. Just, I don't know if he's in the line or not. Yeah, he is. He got tangled. I don't know how tangled it is, but it's tangled. That's a good one. It's looking pretty tangled to me. Let me see if I can try and figure this out. just get this fish in that's a good one that's an overslot i saw the school going right by i was like okay it's about to happen here we go the school is still right over there this is so cool come here dude hand line them in last little bit that's bigger than the, the other big one for sure got a tail beautiful redfish Hook around the corner of the mouth. Got it out. This is a fun day right here. He's probably gonna go 29 around there. Nose right there. He's 29 and a half. First overslot of the day. It's 28 overslot. The limit is 18 to 27. So yeah, uh, 28 is an overslot. So I guess second overslot of the day. That is so much fun. This is so cool seeing the school of redfish just keep going back and forth on this flat. And every time they come close, it seems like they pick up one of the two baits. So let's go ahead and get a release on this guy and see if we can get some more. Beautiful redfish. See ya, dude.
It was sassy. Low tide, it's about 8.30 in the morning. I wanna see if I can get some red fish on this grass fly on top water. See if we can get some reds on it. Oh, trout, trout, is that a trout? What is this? Ladyfish, oh, cup bait. See if I can get them in. Stay hooked, stay hooked. It is impossible to keep these things on. Cup bait, and he's off. That was lucky, first cast. Got a ladyfish I could use for cup bait if I wanted. All right, got a piece of cup bait right here. Small piece of cut ladyfish, and I'm gonna be casting it out here on this flat around all these, these mullet. See if I can pick up a redfish. Got my Pen Battle 3 2500 with 10 pound braided on my Bull Bay Banshee 74 medium action rod. Got about a three to four foot section of 25 pound fluorocarbon leader down to a 2 0 hook. Just gonna cast it out on this flat, just like that. Have it sit here with loose drag and wait for a redfish to pick it up. While that's waiting there, I'm gonna keep tossing the top water. Oh, there we go. That's a fish. That's a redfish. That's a decent one too, on the cup bait. Beautiful, that did not take too long at all. Come on over here. Yeah, that's a good one. Let's see if I can reel in my top water. There we go. That's a good redfish right here. Coming right to the boat. Oh, that's a really good one. Come on over here, dude. We'll loosen up on him. I knew there had to be some redfish over here by these by these mullet. I'm pretty sure this is like a really big one. Okay. Okay, okay, okay. Those are some big swirls. That was sick. Come on over here. Caught a ladyfish when I first pulled up. Kept them for cut bait and we're hooked up pretty quickly. Okay, he's going to the back of the boat. That's a good one. He just started slowly going with it. Just picked up the bait. I was just slowly moving away with it. May not want to hit the top water today. Come on over here. Yeah, that's a healthy fish right there. We're gonna try and bury his face in the grass. Hey dude. First fish of the day. It's a good one. Right there. That is a solid redfish. That is a beautiful redfish to start today. Let's get the measurement on him. Right there. He's 31 inches. First fish of the day right there, 31 inch redfish. Came on the cut bait. Uh, I got quite a few uh, slices of ladyfish left that I could throw out. Still have to, I'm still kind of battling the tide. I want it to be as low as possible, but the tide's coming up. So I'm gonna go ahead and get a release on this guy, get another cut bait out and keep throwing the top water and see if we can have ourselves a good day. Beautiful redfish right there.
kicking. See you, dudes.